this is our part of the eleventh problem. In part A of the problem, diffraction pattern has been obtained on the screen with the help of red light of wavelength lambda. The slit width happens to be small a. Diffraction pattern should look like this. This is capital D. And this separation is a small a. Now the next part. The, the red light of wavelength lambda is replaced by the green light of wavelength 0.75 lambda. And we are supposed to find the slit width so as the diffraction pattern for the green light is same as that for the red light. Okay. Now you see, this is the diffraction pattern for the red light. And we are supposed to find identical diffraction pattern for the green light by changing a small a. We are supposed to find new value of a small a so that the diffraction pattern becomes identical. Answer part A. You see, you will obtain identical diffraction pattern provided width of the central maxima for the red is seen at is same as the width of the central maxima for the green light or 2 lambda capital D by small a and this should be equals to 2 lambda capital D by small a. For the red color, this is lambda r and this is a and for the green color, this is lambda g and this is a dash. Now over here, 2 and 2 will cancel, d and d will cancel and uh, the new value of the slit width a dash that should be given by lambda g upon lambda r into a now substitute these values this is 0 0.75 times lambda upon lambda is to a and lambda and lambda will cancel and the answer is 0 0.75 a in part B of the problem, first minima is obtained at 30 degree angle. Slit width is 0.8 micrometer and we are supposed to find the wavelength. Let's do it. Answer, part B. Condition for the first minima is A sin theta is equals to lambda. Now, substituting value of a and theta, we get lambda is equals to 0 0.8 is to 10 is to the power minus 6 meters. Theta is 30 degrees. This is equals to 4 is to 10 is to the power minus 7 meters or 0 0.4 micrometers or 4000 angstroms. In part C of the problem, the whole diffraction apparatus is immersed inside liquid of refractive index N and we are supposed to suggest its impact on the widths of central maximum. And prior to it, we are also supposed to write formula of width of central maximum. Answer part C. The width of Central maxima is W is equals to twice lambda capital D by small a. Here, all the symbols they have the usual meaning. If the whole apparatus is immersed inside liquid of refractive index mu, then the value of lambda inside liquid changes to lambda dash, while the value of capital D and a small a remains unchanged. So, the expression of width of the central maxima inside liquid. As lambda dash is equals to lambda by mu. So, 
W dash is equals to twice lambda capital D by small a multiplied by 1 by mu. And this is equals to W by mu. Thus, the width of central maximum will decrease by the factor of mu. 